the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission uh, was conducting uh, National Assembly elections for 28 constituencies and 122 local authority uh, by-elections. Uh, the Commission would like to express uh, uh, gratitude to all the players that have been taking part in these uh, electoral processes. As we have started on a good note, the 1,990 polling stations opened up in the morning at 7 o'clock, save for a few because of logistical issues. However, that time uh, has been compensated because our polling stations should operate for 12 hours. Uh, on a said note as well, uh, the Commission would like to express its deepest sympathies to the family and relatives of an electoral officer who collapsed and died early morning at a polling station in Ward 5 in Bindura. Uh, the Commission is also extending its condolences to the Minister of our Primary and Secondary Education, which had seconded the officers uh, may uh, the person so rest in peace. Uh, despite, you know, generally all polling stations opening on time, polling moving on very well. Uh, we also witnessed some uh, weather changes in other provinces like Bulawayo, uh, Mashonaland East, Matabeleng North. Uh, there were some rains uh, which might have caused some of uh, the voters who are coming to, to vote maybe uh, uh, to really uh, take their time. However, the numbers increased in the afternoon. We have seen a lot of numbers increasing in the afternoon means uh, that people are actually getting onto our polling stations. And uh, on another issue, I think we have had instances where people are talking about the COVID-19 register, where we have had some people saying maybe we are not so sure what's happening with this, what is it doing this. What, what, what we did as a commission is we made a statement to the public to tell them that this, or this is only meant for the protection of people due to public health issues. Remember that uh, the commission partnered with the Minister of Health and Child Care, Red Cross Society, to ensure that whenever people are getting to our polling stations, uh, they are tested their temperatures. Not only that, the Minister of Health had actually extended at a closer place to where the polling stations were to test even for COVID, to ensure that when, wherever we have a case, contact tracing can be done. This is purely meant for medical issues, none other thing besides the medical issues. However, uh, we've seen uh, a lot of people really coming in and maybe another issue that I'll raise to you, we've also heard about the issues on the uh, ink, you know, the ZEC ink has expired, the ZEC ink has expired. Uh, the commission would do, uh, made also a statement and a percent to that, 
uh, that the indelible ink is not expired, and a lot of the actual witnesses, this was just a, a gimmick that ran on social media, but uh, I think you, a lot of you have been correcting each other on social media. We also have issues of people that have been turned away when they were getting into polling uh, stations, some because of the reasons that they did not bring any valid identity documents, some were bringing their driver's license, some were not on the voters' roll because our voters' rolls were closing at different times. The voters' roll for the National Assembly closed on the 8th of January uh, because they closed two days after the proclamation of, of the by-election by His Excellency, and then the voters' rolls for the local authorities closed the days in which the vacancies arose. Because of that, some people were just thinking I transferred or registered earlier or I registered late or I registered during the blitz and because in my area there's an election so I, I'm able to vote. We want, the commission has actually been engaging people, including uh, political parties in the MPOCs, educating about them about these differences. In 358 polling stations, the commission had two voters rolls, one for the local authority and one for the National Assembly, simply because we know very well that their closing dates were very were very different. And maybe the other issue that uh, the commission will also bring to your attention is that uh, uh, we advertised these polling stations in the media 21 days before polling, which uh, a lot of people have been seeing, and the commission also had advertised and published the names, the voters' rolls for the polling stations in these areas for a period of three days before polling. And we're encouraging the electorate to go there and inspect and see their names. Some were actually, you know, going to a polling station, sub polling station A when they're voting a sub polling station B. But we educated our people to use the, the available V very inspection portals which have been given by the commission to ensure that they get to their polling station and able to exercise their vote. As a commission, we would like to tell you that we are happy with what has been going on. Uh, almost our polling stations have closed uh, because of time. They should open for 12 hours, and the majority of them, they're in time. Those who opened a little bit later, they also compensated that time. Now we await the figures. We're not going to be giving you figures on who voted where and what are the numbers. We'll wait for the results that are coming because we believe these are quite key and very important for this process. Uh, from my end, I think those are the issues that I have. See one list if there's something that we may add. Uh, if there's nothing to add, maybe I'll ask. Uh, Mr. Mayawi, to questions? Yes, sir. Okay, my name is Ajay Marat from my head, sir. Uh, my question is, folks, is uh, if uh, the names were taken down only for medical research, why is it that it was not uh, being undertaken by the relevant authorities like the nurses, so like what they do on the police? Oh, when we recruited the polling officers, there was a, there is a polling officer who was supposed to be only working on issues to do with temperature checks and uh, uh, sanitizing. Who was actually a health officer in that area. And in most cases, in most areas, we have Red Cross people manning those areas. We, when, when your details are taken by a Red Cross person, what would be the fear there? And over and above, for you to tell you that where's the commission with every registered voter, <laughs> why would you think you would want a list that can be used for something else when you have the list? But we're just doing it to ensure that there's contact tracing for people where there's a COVID case. For your information, I'll tell you that one of our electoral offices in Matabele North tested positive today and is in isolation. These are the cases that we intend to address when such issues arise. This is only meant to protect everyone for the interest of public health. Any more questions? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, yeah. okay. My name is Leo from Sunday Mail. Uh, I would like to find out if there's an indication of when we will get these results. The, the indication of when we will get these results. I, I would want to take you through the process of how results uh, are transmitted or uh, counted and all that. After 7 o'clock, polling is closed, or maybe they close the quarter past 7. The, the polling officer declares that the polling is closed with the agents and the observers. After that, they start the counting. The law has agreed that we're starting the counting maybe in 10 minutes or 20 minutes. When they are done with counting, member voting is done at the polling station. When they are done with counting and, at the polling station and when everyone has agreed, they complete the V11 form. After completing the V11 form, it is signed by the agents. It is signed also by the observers who will be there in the polling officers day. After that is done, a copy of that V11 is actually posted outside that polling station 
for people out there to see what they voted for. However, these results will be manually transmitted to be carried to the ward election uh, center where collation is going to be done. When collation is done, these are added and added after that, after everything has been verified, the observers, agents, they, they sign. After that, another form is, is created. When that form is created, if there is an the election for the local, uh, local authority, which is a councillor, and the winner is declared by the ward election officer. After the winner is declared, another form with those same results is actually published outside. And that form is, is taken again to the constituents command center where collation for the constituents happens. However, our areas differ in terms of geography and mobility and maybe the speed of the car moving from one polling station to the other. But what we're telling is that as a commission, because we know that all the interested stakeholders are represented in these different polling areas, wherever the results are ready, they always come through and as a commission will be very much interested to ensure that you actually get this result as they come through. Wherever there is any election that has been completed, we will notify you. Yes. Yes. Uh... Robert from Slime Media. There are also some reports where um, politicians from certain political parties were encouraging voters to take pictures of the ballot paper after they cast their vote so that uh, when they get out of um, uh, the room, they show the picture to the politician and they are paid $10. Has that uh, report been uh, raised to you? And after that, what's the way forward? Thank you so much. I think we, if you have noted on our social media, we made a statement even on radio today pertaining that issue because those people were actually uh, not following the law. They would have done what we call an electoral offense where you are taking a picture of a ballot that has been used. It's actually it's a level 10 offense which warrants maybe up to a maximum of 12 months imprisonment and you'll be able to exercise your electoral rights for the next five years. We have been talking about it, prohibiting any voters from doing that. However, since your allegation is there, I hope it will be taken to the police for them to look into that because it's an electoral matter which will then go to the electoral court. But what we, would, what we have done as a commission is to actually tell the masses that are voting to say, what, what practice is this? This practice is not in accordance with the law. You're actually breaking the law and you're actually risking yourself to be eligible voter in the next election. 2023, for instance, you may not vote if you're found guilty. We have a case in San Diego where the police have already taken that case up and we're looking forward to many cases which may be taken by the commission because this will actually discredit our electoral processes. Why would you want people to outside there? Are you conniving for votes? It's not according to the law of the land. We follow the law. I don't know if I answered that, but for okay. No, there's no wrong answer. Oh, Seem to be one day. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Uh, if I can say, you are uh, I just wanted to find out if there have been any complaints, formal complaints that have been lodged uh, to the commission regarding some of the accusations from political players. Have there been any political or have there been any candidates? We have actually lodged formal complaints with the commission regarding some of the issues that they are raising. Let me give that to my to my honourable CEO. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Just one moment. Just one moment, Commissioner. We have received. Um, sorry. that uh, the commission relocated the police station, but uh, when we investigated that, we noticed that that uh, position was incorrect. Um, in any case, you also know that we published the police stations 21 days before polling day, as the commissioner has already said, and uh, within that period, we did not receive any until, I think, uh, uh, late 
yesterday or this morning, but we verified with our officers on the ground that uh, the police station um, that was said uh, been moved away. Uh, that information was not correct. In actual fact, in that particular police station, there are three police stations in the same area, A, B, C, D. So then, then there was an allegation that one of the A, B, C, D has been moved away. So you can see that it did not even make logic for you to have in one, two, three police stations, then you say the other one was moved away. So that was false information according to ourselves. And uh, we stuck to the police stations as we published them uh, 21 days earlier than uh, this morning. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Costan, for what you have I did not hear the, the venue or the place where the final result will be announced. Is, should we treat this in the command center where we did well? Or are we supposed to go somewhere else where we have been cleared with official results being announced? What's the procedure? Um, okay. What happens with the 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 uh, the drafts are declared for this election. The drafts are declared at two points. There's a word election. The word election results is declared at the word collection center once everything has been collected at the commission center. Then the constituency results are also declared at the constituency results center. So strictly speaking, there is no national results center to announce those results because they are supposed to be um, announced at the various constituency and uh, work centers. That's where they are announced. But of course, the commission is going to publicize those, going to gazette those for the purpose of information to yourselves and the public at large. But officially, they are announced at the work center and at the all right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming around. I think uh, I think we will be issuing out uh, the next update at uh, ten p.m. Yes. Thank you.